Hey, welcome back. So you ever thought to yourself, why don't I just leave well enough alone? Uh, well, that's what this episode's about. So it's these columns. I have to prevent that light leak that you see behind on the wall. And I want the triangular tops to be rounded. Now, at first I tried to be gentle, try to make it all nice and clean. That totally didn't work. So next I tried just a tad bit of brute force and a stern voice. And then I said, or else. Sorry, that's that's demolition, man. That's if you don't know what that is, well, well shame on you. Uh, anyway, one down, one to go. Fast forward to the garage where I found some scraps. Here, I'm just going to measure them, make sure that they will fit my design. Next, I'll go ahead and start cutting. For the straight cuts, I use the circular saw. And of course, the jigsaw for the rounded cuts. Having one board completed, I used it as a template to make three more. Perfect, and then something happened. Wait a minute, what the hell? How did this happen? How do these things happen? It's frustration! No, sorry. Uh, because I'm a professional, just gonna move on. Now I know what you're thinking. Just make a new one, right? Nope, nope. Gonna totally half-ass it and just make this little piece. Damn it. Now I'm not, I'm not proud. You know, who am I kidding? I am proud. Look at this. You can hardly tell that they're two separate pieces of wood. Can't, I mean, if you blur your eyes a little, you, you wouldn't be able to, you know. Oh my God. So this is a disclaimer. Don't. Don't use your wife's cookware, otherwise this type of stuff happens. I mean, who throws a freaking shoe? But to be honest, yeah, I was using cookware and it was the good stuff too. So, I mean, I needed something round, but, you know, well, whatever. Let's just say feelings were hurt. Yeah, I, I walked it off. I got past it. So, my second attempt, I, oh, hold on, is she looking? Good. Okay, so my for my second attempt, I used some less used cookware. See, I learned a lesson. The whole reason for these holes to begin with is because there are pipes that run along the length of the theater, and I need to design around them. While I work on cutting the bottom parts off the columns, the CNC is at work making the overhead LED section. I then decided to cut some really thin strips that I'll use as the side walls for the LED panel. The reason that this has to be so narrow is because it has to fit right underneath one of those pipes in the room. Next, a skilled worker puts together... I'm sorry, sorry, been watching too much how it's made. Um, now I'm assembling the LED box and you'll notice I have two little pieces right there. See, I use previously used pieces, and sometimes they're not always the right size. Next up, I attach the curved pieces, now that I have the columns back inside the room. These square pieces make it so much easier to attach everything all together. With both columns in place, it was time to start working on the bridged area. Here I chose some styrene, which worked out pretty well, it was perfect for this curved area. And I figured it was up high enough where little fingers wouldn't scratch the paint off because its surface is so smooth that yeah, just rubbing against it would scratch the paint off. And here's the light panel. Now, the 
fun part would be putting the light panel in place with no help. Oh boy. And the struggle begins now. Now you'll notice that I have fixed aluminum foil to the backside of these panels and that just helps the light reflect and appear a little bit brighter which works perfect for this refined space. And here's the finished product. I'm really happy with that. Alright so this was a nice little quick video just to show you what's going on in the theater. Okay, so the next video that I need to do for this room would be to make these panels that go in this little void on both sides of the columns. Then I'll be done. Who am I kidding? I'm probably never going to be done. Alright, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen so far, consider subscribing. And for those who've already subscribed, thank you. It does mean a lot to me.